Hey. So, just then I was at a job, my last job for the day. There was this dog barking and barking and barking, this big dog. And it just got me thinking. When you want to get the dog to, dog to do something, have you ever noticed that, say you want it to roll over or come to you or whatever, they don't, if they're barking and barking and barking, they don't do what they're told until they, st they stop barking for a second and they do what they're told and then they, um, then they run over and do whatever it is. And they might start barking right away, right afterwards, right after you get their attention, they do what they're told. That's interesting, right? Now, a well-trained dog will stop barking on command. Or eventually, the dog will just learn that barking is not acceptable unless there's a good reason for it and then it can bark it's allowed to bark say you're getting attacked it's a good time for a dog to start barking and carrying on right it's just like the mind man your mind isn't going to do what it's told unless it stops barking you need it to calm its farm right and just stop barking so that it can even comprehend what's going on in front of you, right? When your mind is da -da 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 constantly, what tends to happen is you forget to actually pay attention to what's going on in front of you. Um, for example, I know people who, if they're really, really stressed, they don't stop talking because there's so much going on in their head, da -da 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 -da, right? And you, you, they're asking you questions and then you go to say it and then they interrupt you with like, fuck, blah, blah, blah. Or they, they ask you a question, you start telling them and then they'll be like, no, it doesn't work because blah, blah, blah. And you're like, let me finish. Let me finish talking. And they'll be like, okay, sorry, man, sorry, man. And then you start talking and they'll, they'll interrupt you again and you're like, seriously, dude, stop talking. Let me talk and just listen for a second and then talk after me then start barking these people are stuck like that um, they need to calm their farm and um, and stop and just take it in and then and then make a judgment because what's happening here is you're letting your mind you're letting, sorry, you're letting yourself be your mind's little bitch. You're the little bitch, little whipped little bitch of your mind. Because your mind just wants to talk, 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 talk. And, you know, it knows that if it wants your attention, all it has to do is throw a tantrum and go ba 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 right and then what do you do you let it like a little spoiled little brat is that's your mind it's just da -da 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 and you're just letting it do that what do you do you suppose you should just ignore it right that's where that's where meditation comes in my friend and it's and here's the thing about meditation is it's not all about just going oh like doing that old old school like like cliche sort of meditation meditation is just any time that you're so focused on something that you you're not thinking about it like you're not you're not go you're not like say you're driving some people me when i'm driving i feel so relaxed and I'm just driving. I'm not thinking about things that stress me out. I'm not thinking about this. I'm not thinking about that. I'm just driving. Sometimes when I'm building things, I'm not thinking about stress. I'm not thinking about my friends. I'm not thinking about this. I'm not thinking about that. I'm just building. 
And every now and then I have to stop building to think and work it out. And then I go back into this flow state, right? Some of you guys may, who play sports of any kind, any kind, do might do this as well. Like if you play football, tennis, soccer, table tennis, God knows what else. If you exercise, sometimes some people, while they're exercising, right, while they're going for a run, whatever it is, they're not thinking about the stresses of their life. They're thinking about one, two, or they're thinking about their times, or they're thinking about whatever it is that they're thinking about. That's what they're thinking about. They're not thinking about these things. Their, their mind is not a flood of shit. Their mind isn't barking at them constantly like a little chihuahua sitting at the window. That we all know is an absolute pussy. It's a weak little dog, right? That doesn't even, if you walked up to it, it'll keep barking, but it'll start backing away, backing away. It's not gonna run at you and charge. It's just gonna start, it's a weak animal. Like this particular mind. And that's what your mind is, it's weak, if it's, if you can't control. But the thing is, you can exercise it. You can't lift a ton of weight the first time. You've got to work up to it. And you're not going to get there unless you actually exercise. And that's what meditation is. It's training your mind. So like I've said before, there's ex there's literal exercise, that could be one to form of meditation. Uh, there's there's your sports when you hone in on your shit. When you've got your hobbies, you're honing in on your hobbies and you're not thinking about blah, 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 blah. Um, or, and then there might be, for example, listening to music. Some people listen to the music, right? They listen to their favorite music, especially, especially if it's an instrumental track, but any sort of music, it doesn't matter. They'll listen to it and all they're doing, they're not thinking, that some look some people are going oh it's just like my ex-girlfriend blah 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 you know but some people are just sitting there and they're literally feeling the music that's what they that's what they're trying to do they're feeling the music they're not thinking about this that the other they're just laying there in bliss just going this feels so good to listen to this music that's all their mind is doing right and that's another form of meditation if your mind is just still and you're just doing, like you're just feeling, and then that's meditation. And the final one, like the old school cliche meditation is focus on your breath, right? Now, when I first heard meditation years and years and years and years ago before I was even interested in it, what does even focus on your breath mean? What the hell? What is that supposed to mean? focus on your breath all right I'm like breathing now yeah <laughs> it's stupid right it's stupid and it frustrates me that that is the mantra of people who meditate focus on your breath what it mean? this is what it means when you're breathing focus on your the, f the sensations in your body of that are to do with the breath so for example when you breathe, like as one example, you're breathing in through your nose, taking the biggest lungful that you can until it hurts, holding it for a second, and then breathing out through your mouth. That's the old school, ooh, old school cliche um, meditation breathing, right? You breathe in and you fill up your stomach with air, you fill up your chest with air, and then you breathe it out. You hold it for a sec, you breathe it out. While you're doing this, as the air is rushing in through your nose, you, what you're doing is you're focusing in on the air rushing through your nose. Maybe you're focusing on the feeling of your nose getting cooler. That's weird, right? It's, it's, society says it's weird to focus in on your body like this, but that's just because society doesn't want you to calm your farm. It wants you to buy shit and one worry about everything so you can buy a solution and blah 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 but anyway I digress it's focus in on the sensation of what what maybe what parts of your nose are getting cooler and what like maybe part of your nose is warmer for a sec for some reason maybe it's like your nostril 
maybe it's the bridge of your nose, maybe it's somewhere inside your head, maybe you're focusing in on your throat, the air rushing past your throat, um, you're focusing in on your chest expanding. What does it feel like to have that like pressure on your chest of um, as your chest expands out, right? What does it feel like as the air rushes out of your throat into your mouth? As it rushes in past your cheeks, is it cooling your cheeks down? Maybe it's warming them up because your lung is just, lungs have just warmed up the air, right? Maybe you're focusing in on the air rushing past your lips. Maybe each step across, as the air rushes past each part of your freaking airways, right? You're listening to the sound of the air rushing past, right? And you're focusing in, does your nose make a different noise to the bridge of your nose? Your nostril make a different no noise to your bridge of your nose? Can you hear the air rushing part into your lungs? In out of, out of part, Can you feel the, the air rushing past your tongue and it's making a noise when it runs, rushes past your tongue, past your lips? Do, can you hear the noise as it exits into the atmosphere? What noise does it make? You know, there's, there's so much to focus on when it comes to your breath, right? There's so much, but you don't think about these things because your mind is too filled with thought and it, the thoughts distract you from even feeling the sensations that your body is naturally doing. What happens if you're still distracted by your thoughts? What I tend to do is I'll focus on my breath and then as a thought comes in, I go, ah, oh, wait a minute, let's get, anyway, back on track, we're focusing on this. And if that still doesn't work, I've, I've got my eyes closed already, right? I'm sitting somewhere quiet. I'll, ha I'll focus in on the back of my eyelids and really try and go, all right, that part looks kind of yellow for some reason, that part pink, that part changed color when I focused on my freaking eyelids. And now let's go back to the breath. And breath in, through the whole body, out. Oh shit, I'm thinking, focus on the eyelids. Back on the breath, the sounds, the feelings. Now, another way when I first started is I used to imagine using visualization and I'd go, okay, so what would my nostrils look like if they changed color as they got warmer or cooler? And the same with my mouth and use a visualization technique. I'm like, no one else will see me doing this. I'm doing this pr privately, right? This is a very old school way of meditation. And that doesn't have to be the only form of meditation. But what is it actually doing? I mentioned it before. You're actually training your mind to do a very specific thing. You're actually training it. That's why it works. It's not because it's relaxing. It, a side effect of it is that it's relaxing, right? And it, maybe it helps you sleep because you're all relaxed and you're in this like weird mental state right but at the end of the day it's training your mind to do a very specific thing and that thing is um is is to be just to stop chattering when it doesn't need to do it it doesn't need to chatter all the time it only needs to chatter when you need it to chatter when you're trying to figure something out then it needs you need your mind to figure things out right but you don't need to be figuring out every little fine detail. I'm eating food. Oh my God, my family is fucked. Right? Why do you need to think about that while you're eating? Set some time aside. While you're meditating, say you get a thought in your head. What you can do is go, all right, that seems important. I'll do, I will purposefully think about that when I'm done meditating and then I'm going to sit there and I'm going to purposefully think about it but right now I'm meditating I'm going to procrastinate from thinking and put that off until I'm done I'll do it later I will do it but I'll do it later right 
So that's meditation, right? And as well as like being able, now this will take a long time. In the beginning, I'd probably only suggest you do it for five minutes if you're if you're doing the hardcore uh, meditation. If you're doing the other types of meditation, while you're doing your thing, you, whether it's your sports, your your hobbies, your your music, whatever it is, even playing guitar, or playing an instrument, and feeling every note, that's that is freaking meditation, my friend. That's meditation. While you're doing that. I want you to focus in on how your body feels. The same as the nose thing, but your whole body, your mind, your everything. Try to remember what that feels like and go, ah, that's what meditating feels like. Does it feel good while you're, while you're doing sports? Like when you're in the zone? When you're in the zone while you're running, while you're in the zone playing a freaking instrument, doesn't that just feel awesome? While you're listening to music that's making you feel stuff, doesn't that make you feel good? You know, it feels good, right? Having that mental clarity. If you're at a mosh pit and you're having the time of your life at the, your favorite band, are you there going, thinking about all this crazy shit? No, you're just there. You're just present with what's going on just looking around at people and smiling and screaming and dancing and jumping around and being stupid, being crazy. No thoughts are in your mind. Maybe you just like to dance. These are all meditation, my friend. These are all moments when your mind is just clear and you're just there doing your thing, right? Isn't that simple, right? And even if you're doing this hardcore meditation, like, It's good to get up a variety of different forms of meditation because it trains your mind to be able to do it in any situation, right? So, for example, if you do do the hardcore meditation, start off aiming for the first week, one or two weeks, just doing five minutes of it until you get the feel for it, right? Until you get, oh, that's what this is about. And in the beginning, I can guarantee you, you're going to have lots of thoughts. But that's only because you're not exercising. You're not doing it. The first time you lift a heavy weight, your fucking arms are shaking, right? Is that normal to have difficulty lifting a heavy weight? Of course it is. Are you stupid if you think that you can lift a heavy weight without doing any training whatsoever? Obviously. And the same goes for meditation. Come on, guys. You need to do it for a while to get the hang of it, right? So just try for five minutes. Don't beat yourself up if you get a thought. Just, just like, because beating yourself up about it is a thought. So just, instead of beating yourself up, just go, just bring yourself back. Like a friend who keeps going off topic. Just be like, yeah, anyway, we're meditating right now. Anyway, yeah, yeah, you're talking, talking, meditating now. Bring it back. Bring it back to what we're talking about here right so that's that's that and then after after say two weeks of doing this for five minutes set an alarm on your phone or play a play a song really quietly that's not going to distract you hasn't got some cool lyrics or something that you're going to sing along to that's got a that's kind of slower or instrumental or something sort of chilled out or some chill hop that'd be great to meditate to um, if you need that sort of distraction to even focus because I'm sort of like that too and then after two weeks try 10 minutes after 10 minutes try 15 minutes you know have some time in between and just give it a try and and what you'll find is that You know, probably not till a month in. Uh, Maybe after two weeks to a month, you might get like a second where there's no thoughts, where it's just you just taking note of everything that's going on and just feeling everything. And then you'll notice that that's happening. And then you'll freaking think of, then you'll have a thought. You'll be like, yay! Oh, damn it, I'm thinking. You know? And then you'll... But... Afterwards, you're going to feel better about it because you achieved something. And you really need to focus in on that achievement, that you you did it, right? 
And so with that, that's that's what meditation is all about. It's shutting up that barking dog. It's it's being able to stop that um, that tantrum child. That child that just likes to throw tantrums all the time. It's it's calming them down so that they don't freaking freak out all the time. Right? So that's what meditation is all about. And here's like after after maybe a year of it here's one other cool really 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 cool thing that will happen to you now there's this word that in some circles has a really bad connotation to it it leaves a bad taste in people's mouth it leaves a bad taste in my mouth sometimes because it's lame but it's this whole concept of open-mindedness. I tell you what open-mindedness means to me. It means that you can look at a situation, you can look at life, you can look at whatever, you can look at a situation, you can look at a thing, whatever. You can look at something, anything, without the biases of your mind coloring what you're seeing it's that simple it's being able to look at something without your biases coloring what you're seeing right without looking at um, a situation and going I went through that and that's what I did or because maybe their situation is different to yours or maybe you're trying a new type of food and you're like, oh, I tried this once before and I didn't like it, so that I'm biased against that. I'm biased against liking that type of food. So that's, that's another bias. Or meditation is for losers who sit there with their fingers like this and they're like, um, and they sit in caves or I don't know, what the, whatever the fuck your bias is about meditation right bullshit like if you can calm your mind down a second to actually see what's going on you might actually be surprised with how much life has to offer you without that mental chatter you can be open to cool opportunities that you wouldn't have even allowed yourself to see because of your biases because you're closed minded you know Maybe there's a teacher in your life that you don't listen to because they've said some stupid shit in the past. So you dismiss everything they say as stupid shit. You're biased against even listening to them. And you're removing valuable gifts and treasures that you could otherwise be receiving, right? because you're blind because of your own biases right does that mean that do you think I now does that mean that I'm saying ignore all your biases obviously are you stupid I'm not saying ignore all your biases right because those biases got you to where you are today right but you'll be able to compare it instead of your mind rushing in like an angry monkey that wants to throw shit at your face, right? And go, oh look, nah, don't, 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 don't do that, don't do that, don't do that. You'll just be able to like, be cool, man. All right, yeah, I can see where they're coming from. That makes a lot of sense. It's, it's not for me doesn't make sense to me that's cool but I can I get what they come where they're coming from and maybe maybe I will be in a situation that they're in one day so I'm gonna lock this away and learn from this person right I don't agree with the other stuff they're saying but I'm open-minded enough and intelligent enough to allow myself to receive this gift right and have gratitude that this person can even do this for me 
that they can teach me something. They may not even know that they're teaching me something, right? But they are, but they're doing this for you. So, because we all know people who dismiss everyone's opinion because of that one time they were wrong. Does that make you feel good? Are they the type of person who's got to move forward in life and see opportunities everywhere they look? No, they're not. They're going to be blind to them. And then they're going to wonder why life is so hard. And they're going to blame society. They're going to blame this. They're going to, be, they're going to blame that because literally they're blind. They're blind to the world around them. They don't understand it. And I'm not saying meditation is the answer, but I am saying it's an answer. It's one of a million different answers that you could possibly try. And to be honest, if you don't think that spending five to ten minutes a day is worth all of that that I've just talked about, like it's not even worth it, well, what more can I do? I can't do anything more. I'm not going to try. Your biases are too strong to let you even consider but so I, I've been told by people that they don't have five minutes they don't have five minutes to meditate to test it out for like a couple of weeks they don't have it the truth is they do have five minutes and that they could if they if they really don't have five minutes they could create five minutes like at an extreme level they could wake up five minutes earlier and get out of bed five minutes earlier and do some meditation I wouldn't do that because I can make five I'm I'm a tradie I'm in my car all the time on my lunch break I stop for five minutes and I do it actually I do a ten minute meditation every day five days a week five days a week <laughs> um, if you haven't got if you haven't got a lunch break where you could do a meditation, which I totally understand, you can do it when you get home from work. Five minutes, ten minutes. Don't put the TV on straight away. Do five, like, you're, I know you're stressed. I know life is so fast these days and all that sort of shit, but you can make five minutes, man. You can do it. Don't let that bias blind you from having a happier life, from having a calmer life, from being able to sleep at night time a little bit more easily. It's not going to change overnight, but if, you're, if you think you're worth it, you can make it your identity that I am worth. It is my identity to um, to to look after myself I'm the type of person that thinks that I'm worthy of taking care of my life of tweaking my brain a little bit here and there yeah <laughs> you're worth it right so anyway I was when I was recording this I was watching the timer and I'm like 10 minutes I could fit it I'm going to finish this video in 10 minutes it's going to be awesome like it's only going to be a 10 minute video it's a freaking half hour video but anyway I know most people aren't going to watch this to the end if you do I'm really 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 curious can you just write a comment I'm curious who made it this far in because this is fucking right in the freaking guts of it so anyway Ah, check it out. Um, yeah, yeah. Anyway, I'm gonna do, uh, that's all. Yeah, let me know if you made it to the end. <laughs> and uh, let me know your thoughts and stuff. I'm really curious. Thanks, guys. Have a great night. Have a great night. Bye.